Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about interpreting data presented in different kinds of line graphs, single to double line graphs. Use the data in the table to construct a line graph. To construct a line graph, evaluate the table and decide how many columns and rows you are going to make. Based on our table, the days will represent the x-axis. Since there are 5 days in the table, then we are going to draw 6 vertical lines. For the expenses, they represent the y-axis. We will look for the highest and the lowest expenses. In our example, the highest expenses is 270 pesos and the lowest expenses is 205 pesos. So, we will decide what is the interval in our scaling. We can have an interval of 10 starting from 200 until 270. Therefore, we will draw 8 horizontal lines. So, let's construct a line graph. The next thing we do is we're going to plot all the points. For Monday, the expenses is 270 pesos. For Tuesday, it is 225 pesos. 225 pesos is in between 220 and 230. For Wednesday, it is 260 pesos. For Thursday, 240 pesos. And for Friday, it is 205 pesos. 205 pesos found in between 200 and 210. Then, after we plot all the points, we're going to connect all the points. Then, don't forget to put a title to our graph. In this graph, the title is Sgera Family's Daily Expenses During School Days. This is an example of a single line graph. We're going to construct a double line graph. These are the data. First, we're going to plot the points from Isgera family's expenses. For Monday, we have 270 pesos. For Tuesday, it is 225 pesos. For Wednesday, it is 260 pesos. For Thursday, it is 240 pesos. For Friday, it is 205 pesos. Then, we're going to connect all the points. This is the graph of Isgera family's expenses. Next, we're going to plot the points from Luzano family's expenses. For Monday, it is 245 pesos. For Tuesday, it is 220 pesos. For Wednesday, it is 240 pesos. For Thursday, it is 230 pesos. And for Friday, it is 200 pesos. Then we're going to connect all the points. This is the graph of Luzano family's expenses. Then we're going to put a title for our graph. Our graph is 
Isgera and Luzano families' daily expenses during school days. And we're going to put a legend for yellow graph. This is for Isgera family. And for pink graph, this is for Luzano family. This is an example of a double line graph. In a line graph, a line that goes up means an increase in value, while a line that goes down from its previous point means a decrease in value. We already construct a single and double line graph. This time, we're going to interpret the graph. How are we going to interpret the graph? To interpret the graph, we're going to answer some questions. Our first question, what is the title of the graph? What do you think the answer? Yes, you are right. The title of the graph is Isgera and Lozano Family's Daily Expenses During School Days. Next question. What does the scale in the y-axis represent? All right. The scale in the y-axis represents the amount in pesos. Next question. In which day or days were the Esguera family's expenses greater than Lozano's expenses? What do you think the answer? Fantastic! All days from Monday to Friday. Next question. What is the difference between their expenses on Wednesday? All right. The difference is 20 pesos. For Esguera family, the expenses on Wednesday is 260 pesos. And for Lozano family, the expenses on Wednesday is 240 pesos. So we're going to subtract. 260 pesos minus 240 pesos, then the difference is 20 pesos. Another question. Is the day's Gera's expenses is highest, the same as Lozano's? What do you think, dancer? Very good. Based on our graph, Yes, both of them have the highest expenses on Monday. The last question. What is the total expenses of Isguera family? Of Lozano family? Okay, we're going to add all the expenses from Monday to Friday. The total expenses of Isguera family is 1,200 pesos. While for Lozano family is 1,135 pesos. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.